Day, good day everyone and once again we're back together and this time we're looking at calculating the empirical formula using the percentage presence of each of the atoms in a compound right so now um, we are going to look at this in the previous video we're looking at um, you know calculating the empirical formula so if you haven't watched that please go ahead and um, watch that video Right, and if you haven't subscribed, do the right thing, all right? Uh, be part of this family. And um, we are so glad that most of you are just hitting that subscribe button and becoming a part of us. All right, now let's go right into it. So we're given a reaction there. You can already tell I took it as part of a question from a previous uh, exam question paper, right? So they say to us, the reaction above, okay, I'm going to write down the reaction, is the first step in the manufacturing of an acid this acid contains 1.59 percent hydrogen 22.2 percent nitrogen and 76.2 percent oxygen determine the empirical formula of this acid right now let's first determine in this case right so they're telling us we've got three things essentially right we've got hydrogen We've got nitrogen and we've got uh, oxygen, right? So now, so when you're given percentages, you are going to make an assumption, ladies and gents. Assume that the mass that is given of whatever this compound is with hydrogen, nitrogen and oxygen is 100 grams. So assume 100 grams mass, okay? So if we had 100 grams of mass and you've given us 1.59%, right? They said the acid contains 1.5% hydrogen. So which means the mass of hydrogen would be 1.59 grams, right? So this means this would be the mass. And the mass of nitrogen, automatically that makes this 22.2 uh, grams of nitrogen if you had a hundred grams as well as 76.2 grams of oxygen now remember in chemistry we always work with number of moles right so meaning that whenever we want to find something out we have to use the number of moles so what we're going to do is use our number of moles say this is mass divided by molar mass so going to divide each one of them by its respective molar mass the molar mass of hydrogen right if you check in your periodic table that will be one the molar mass of nitrogen that will be 14 and the molar mass of oxygen will be 16 right so what we're going to do is find out the number of moles of each of the atoms right so 1.59 divided by 1, that should give us 1.59. That should be easy enough. Okay, I'm not sure why I even pressed the calculator there. Right, and then we've got 22.2. And we divide that by 14. And I get 1.59 again, right? And the last one is 76.2. And we divide that by 16. So that gives us 4.76, shall we say? Right, so that gives us 4.76. That's the number of moles of oxygen if we were given this as the mass of each. Right, now what we do, ladies and gents, just like we did in the previous one, you take the lowest number and you divide it uh, throughout. Uh, you, th you divide each of the... Uh, number of moles by the lowest number so the lowest number is 1.59 right the lowest number of moles in that case so that would give us that's divided by 1.59 and we divide by 1.59 and of course we do that even to the last one so that gives us one right so the ratio is one is to one Okay, so let's take the last one. We've got 4.76 and we divide that by 1.59. That gives us 3, right? 2.99. Okay, that gives us 3. 
So which means if we're looking at the empirical formula of this acid, it would be H1, N1, and O3, right? So this would be the manufacturing of uh, nitric acid. And by the way, I did say that I was going to write down the reaction. So what they had done there is they took ammonia and they reacted it with oxygen and the product is nitrogen monoxide uh, plus H2O. Right, this is one of those uh, equations that you would need to know how to, um, you know, balance. Okay, so just please make it a point. Um, I will do this uh, probably in a different video. Okay, so you just put there the 4, 5 and 4, 6. Right now, that would be balanced. But we'll do that uh, in the next video. All right. Uh, for now, this is how you calculate the empirical formula. Hope that you got it. And I'll see you guys next time. Shop, shop.